Welcome back to This Week in Video Games to another Destiny 2 video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to access the new Sundial activity in Season of Dawn. So the Season of Dawn is here, and with it comes a new six-person match-made mode called the Sundial. So it's a new mode where we defend Osiris' construction from Waves of Cabal. The following is a guide for how to access the Sundial. So much like game modes of the past, including Escalation Protocol, the Menagerie and the Vex Offensive, the Sundial is a new six-person match-made activity where we face off against waves of enemies. So this is Osiris' device to control the corridors of time, and since we defeat the Undying Mind, the timeline is now broken on Mercury. The Cabal are trying to take advantage of this and rewrite the end of the Red War, and therefore change history, so it's up to us to stop them. So the Sundial offers up three versions of Mercury, the past, the present and the future. And each week there's going to be new enemies and bosses to defeat. It's not a traditional horde mode and there are raid-like mechanics. So this mode is match made for normal mode, however hard mode coming on 7th of January 2020, that's going to require a pre-made fire team. So here's how you access the new six person mode, the Sundial, in the Season of Dawn. First up, what you want to do is go and speak to Ikora. And uh, when you first get into the Season of Dawn, you want to go to the tower and visit Ikora. She'll congratulate you on your victory over the Undying Mind and suggest they rename it because it's dead. She'll then ask you to go to Mercury and see Osiris. Ikora will then give you a quest called A Matter of Time. So first up, we've got a disturbance on Mercury. And the first step of this quest is to go and speak to Osiris on Mercury. There's a new node opened up called Disturbance on Mercury, the Sundial. Select that and head on over. Once you land, you want to head straight forward past the enemies trying to kill you and into the Sundial. Osiris is there, and you want to speak to him. Welcome to my Sundial. It is a means to walk the corridors of time. And time is broken here on Mercury. I need your help. Next up, we've got Recovery Operation, and Osiris needs some help repairing the timeline on Mercury. First up, we have to fix an obelisk on the Tangled Shore. These are designed to stabilise time whilst the Sundial is active, and for this step of the quest, we need to defeat Cabal on the Tangled Shore to recover 50 Sundial components. So you can use solar weapons as well, and that may drop additional materials. Next up, we've got Reinforcements. So now you've collected 50 Sundial components, you have to bank them at the obelisk. So approach the bank next to the obelisk and select Bank. You'll then go to the next step of the quest. Next up, we've got Light Collection. So now you've modified the obelisk with tech from the Sundial, you need to collect light. So you do this by defeating enemies with abilities, supers, and by collecting orbs of light. So I just ran around a little bit on a tangled shore, killed enemies until the meter was full, and then it's on to the next step of the quest. So the next step is called Light Infusion. So you want to head back to the bank and infuse your light into the obelisk. You'll then get a notification saying the obelisk has been tuned. And next up is Timeline Stabilisation. Now you've restored the obelisk to its full power. But to fully link the obelisk to the sundial, you can complete bounties. So what you want to do here is pick up the item Major Fractaline Harvest. So the next step of the quest is called the Missing Link. So by connecting the obelisk to the sundial via sundial links, you can pull specific weapons through time from the sundial spire. This is essentially how you pick and choose which weapons you get as rewards at the end of the sundial. So when I picked it up, it gave me a sundial link tangled shore and the chance to get breech light or steel feather repeater. So once you pick the links, you get a pop-up saying sundial reward linking. Sundial arena activity rewards are determined by the obelisk link to it. Only a limited number of obelisks can be linked at one time. So next up, we want to visit Osiris and finally head back to Mercury and speak to Osiris and he'll invite you to enter the Sundial. So go to the director on Mercury and you'll now be able to pick the Sundial from the menu. And this will send you into the new six-person matchmade mode. So we've made it, we're finally at the Sundial and after a little bit of matchmaking, you want to battle your way through waves of enemies in the past, present and future on Mercury. So once you've defeated a few waves of bosses, you'll be sent to fight against the final boss, and we start up facing the boss Nirul, the Hollow Voice. So this is a Scion Flayer, and he's pretty nifty, and uh, pretty tough, and can kind of trap you in these kind of force fields. So Nirul, he's going to be followed up in the coming weeks with Oslet, the Sky Piercer, that's on the 17th of December, Tazarok, the Sun Eater, that's on Christmas Eve on the 24th, and Inatan, Oblivion's Time, and that's early in January. 
So the Sundial is good fun, and there's some raid-like mechanics in there where you have to kill certain enemies and break the shield to the mini-boss. There's a nice little effect on the penultimate boss when you throw an orb at the boss and a huge laser comes down from the sky, which I presume is the Cabal attacking themselves. It's almost like you're putting down a marker telling the ships out there in space to attack. All in all, the Sundial is pretty good fun, and it's quite straightforward to access after a few quest steps. So let me know down in the comments what you think of the Sundial and which weapons you're chasing. I picked up the Steel Feather Repeater at the end, which is a rapid fire frame auto rifle which looks pretty cool. Also, Osiris gives us a few quests at the end and we'll have to wait and see what they lead on to next. Looking forward to discovering that. Well that's it for this video on how to access the Sundial in Season of Dawn and thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, then check out these other videos on the channel. Thanks again, I'll see you soon.